The United Nations has begun delivering ballots across Afghanistan to prepare for the November 7th runoff between President Hamid Karzai and former Foreign Minister Abdullah Abdullah. The second round comes after the Election Commission nullified nearly one million votes cast in August presidential polls. The investigation brought Mr. Karzai's vote count below 50 percent, enough to trigger a runoff. President Barack Obama has said the runoff reflects the will of the Afghan people and he may withhold his decision on U.S. troop levels in Afghanistan until after the new polls. The remarks followed his meeting with Senator John Kerry, who has just returned from the Afghan capital, Kabul. Uh, I think you really want to know that this has worked uh, and you want to know what kind of government is coming out of it. An analyst at the Institute for the Study of War, Haseeb Himanyu, says Mr. Karzai may win again. If we are to look at the numbers and how they've turned out, uh, President Karzai has a much stronger uh, base than uh, Dr. Abdullah Abdullah, and that, that may turn out to play a role in what happens in the second round as well. But questions remain about the deals Mr. Karzai struck with local powers of remote Afghan regions to win their support. I think one has to look at that with a lot of caution uh, because those deals, while electorally they might have returns, in terms of government efficiency down the line they are questionable. But Rick Nelson at the Center for Strategic and International Studies in Washington says it is wrong to look at the Afghan political landscape through a Western lens. President Karzai has been very uh, aggressive and trying to make deals and trying to build partnership. But given the circumstances in which he's trying to operate, um, if he can cut deals um, with rival factions uh, and it results in a stable Afghanistan, then that's something we may not, uh, we may want to support. Another scenario presented by some experts is one in which the August election runner-up, Mr. Abdullah, wins this time around. Nelson says he may not belong to the Pashtun majority tribe, but he is not that different politically than Mr. Karzai. Obviously, he's not uh, full Pashtun. He has a little bit of Tajik as well. Um, and that may change the dynamic with the United States, but it's probably not going to change the overall U.S. policy too much. There is also the chance that the two contenders will come up with some sort of an agreement to share power and avoid the runoff. While some analysts say this is unlikely, Nelson is optimistic. If there's a unity government in advance, it certainly puts the whole um, election legitimacy question aside and will enable the uh, United States NATO uh, to move forward in their, in their partnership with Afghanistan. In Washington, U.S. officials have said a power-sharing arrangement between the two leaders would be totally up to the Afghans. Ravi Khanna, VON News, Washington.